Tanishta, in January when Crillian uh, collapsed, leaving five schools in real uncertainty and, and one uh, college of further education, two of those schools are in my own constituency of Wicklow. The Minister of Education came into the House here and informed the House that there would be no delays whatsoever, maybe a week or two. Here we are in March um, and there's still total uncertainty. Last week the NDFA uh, briefed the principals of the schools as well as some uh, TDs outlining the process that there's now a public tendering process and the closure of those tenders is the 5th of April. It is now anticipated that work, work will not commence again on those schools until late June, possibly June. July. Um, the reality is two of those schools, Minister, are complete. But with that time frame, those completed schools are going to remain closed, completely closed, until September at the earliest. And that's a reasonable expectation. You, uh, can I ask a question? Why will the government not intervene in this sad saga? And will there be a complete review of the use of uh, public-private partnerships for uh, essential public works Thank such you, as, as schools? Deputy, I'm told from some local knowledge here in the front bench that, that uh, Kalosh Rahim, which is one of the, um, the schools um, in, in Wicklow, um, should be ready um, by early summer. Um, so there is a, um, uh, there's obviously efforts uh, to, to make sure that, um, that these schools get the supports that they need, um, given, the, um, given what has happened in terms of financial uncertainty and so on. Uh, but I think it would be... Uh, probably um, uh, the best course of action for you to put a PQ down to, uh, to Minister Bruton to get an accurate response. Thank you very much.